What's going on you guys? This week's vlog is just going to be a little different than normal what I normally vlog. Uh, two buddies of mine opened this brand new shop on the south of Edmonton here. Uh, they did a soft opening and uh, what I've seen so far online it's it's pretty looks pretty sick and I'm I kind of want to share with you guys this brand new experience. Uh, their brand new shop is looks amazing. Let's just, just head down there and let's check it out you guys. I think you guys are gonna like it. Hello, hello. Wow. Welcome. This is the first time I've been really excited about a local shop. And it's been a long time and this is a very welcoming, I guess, uh, in this car industry right now in Empton. This is what we need. This is exciting guys. So. Let's get uh, let's, let's get to know this place a little more. Right when I walked in, it's like super clean. Of course, it's brand new. But I think their theme is kind of a white thing because everything's really white here, you guys. So, but I just want to introduce it to my friends here, and I want to first I want to congratulate them on their uh, their beautiful new shop, you guys. Thank you. You want, Lee, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Lee, and uh, I'm a director for uh, Sub 60 Second Racing. Nice, nice. And hi. you, and who this guy is? Um, Ifan, you know, just uh, hard working labor here. You, know. <laughs> you, guys, you guys met him uh, in one of my vlogs. You, you probably remember from the uh, yes. his uh, pretty nice RX-7. Uh, the only thing he's missing is uh, the brakes. Maybe he fixed it, but we'll, yeah. we'll see. <laughs> see, now he's smiling. Now he's smiling. There you guys. Um, you want to show us around the shop? And sure, yeah. Let's go. First of all, this is nice, eh? Yeah, I like that, so, you guys. Uh, this is our uh, sub-60 second racing sign. Uh, it's glow, and then it's, the background is white. So, <laughs> so match our theme yeah. here. This is nice. Yeah. So, obviously, what caught my eyes when I walked in and look at this beautiful wall, you guys. This is like, uh, this is art. How'd you, who, who came up with the idea of this one? Uh, both of us, <laughs> yeah. To actually mount the wheel on the wall actually quite challenging. Was it, I was, I thought it'd be quite easy, but. So uh, basically we have to find a stud yeah. uh, on the wall and then, you know, uh, find a you know, clean solution to mount it, yeah. the, you know, wheel. And then yeah. we found those hooks and then to, to find the stud is, quite a bit challenging yeah. because, you know, we can't see it. And then we bought a stud finder. It just keep like guiding us to a wrong stud. Yeah, wrong stud, eh? Yeah, and then, I, the, so the, back into the like fundamental is uh, I found a magnet and then I just stick yeah. on the wall and then I found the <laughs> Oh, stud so it's stud. a seal stud? Yes. But really, yeah. realistically, the symmetry, uh, symmetry of this is really based on the studs, eh? Because if the stud's off, yeah. Technically, it shouldn't be because the building should be properly built. Actually, but. there's a one side inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, but wow. we also use laser. Yeah. Uh, make sure because, yeah. uh, you know, yeah. it has you, to be perfect. Because you don't want one of these falling down one day, eh? Of course. Oh. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. What's your favorite wheel? My favorite what's wheel your favorite wheel? T37. T37? The bronze it, one. This, this one? Yeah. This one? Oh, wow, eh? What about you, you fan? Let me guess, white? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say white. YTE. Wow, that's a that, tough choice here, right? With this yeah. wall here? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's a tough choice. tough choice. What do you guys think? What color and brand and style do you guys like? Personally, uh, this is the front runner right now for uh, a lot of people online. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Advan GT is Advan the front GT. runner. Yeah. 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 And then, yeah. Uh, also, this is a nice one too. Yes. The RG4. Yeah. I really like the white and the. The machine I like how they did this. Yeah. Because back in the days, it, it was just all white. Yeah. Exactly. Right. But this is a this is a beautiful touch, you guys. Yeah. I I yeah. love I love that. Yeah. And it's kind of nice how they gave it both the options where you have the OG sticker. Yeah. Yeah. And new school milling. Yeah. That's exactly. that's a that's a beautiful yeah. touch. Yeah. But you find got good taste too, eh? <laughs> 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 all right. So. What do you guys offer? What do you what What do you guys offer out of this out of your guys' shop right now? So, um, our main line is probably just um, wheels, like high end Japanese wheels. Yeah. You know, like race, advan, uh, work, and we can get BBS, SSR, and those brands yeah. as well. And of course, like racing bucket seats, Hukaro. Like those ones. Yeah, right? Bright, and um, including like Japanese and um, 
North American like pole position with Carl's as yeah. well. Yeah, also performance upgrades, carry lots of uh, HKS, bolt on, you know, turbo nice... kit, yeah, from small items to bigger items. Yeah. Yeah, coilovers, um, we're pretty big on that. Yeah, and just um, some of the random stuff here and there. Okay. Yeah. And the, let's see, the proper name is what? Sub 60 Racing? Subs, Sub prop, like the full name is technically um, Sub 60 Second Racing. Sub 60 Second yeah. Racing, okay. But um, the short version is just S60R. S60R. Or Sub 60. Okay, Sub 60. People call us. Okay. Yeah. What's your guys' preferred? Uh, it doesn't matter, like Sub 60 or S60R yeah. or. Yeah. And what's I like S60R? Do you guys have a hashtag or anything that you guys, if people are like looking for you guys? Usually hashtag just uh, sub sixty. Sub sixty. Yeah. Okay. Sub sixty racing. Yeah. And on Instagram. On Instagram. On Instagram. Yeah. yeah. Oh, That's awesome. Our Instagram name as well. Do you want to share your Instagram? You, both you guys are. Oh, you, you'll well, be able I'll, to find I'll us. Throw it in, I'll throw it <laughs> yeah. in there. Okay, right, yeah. yes, I'll throw it in there. Okay. Yes. I'll throw it in there. All right. That's awesome. Shall we visit? Sure. The... Let's go. Yeah. Okay. I I'm excited for this, you guys. I've been seeing this for a long time, and let's uh, let's go on this one. Holy! <laughs> You guys. It is. Wow, eh? Yeah. How long is it going to stay clean like this? Uh, I don't know, <laughs> two days. <laughs> as long as like, possible. I mop every day. Yeah. You know, the floor, everything. Wow. Look at this. So you can actually just come in and chill and hang out here. And it's just a welcoming space, you guys. Just walk in and just, that's awesome. I can see he's drinking some bubble tea here, right? Yeah. Bubble tea, right, guys? <laughs> some pizza. Beer, What's apple. your favorite bubble tea? Uh, I like the Toro. Toro? Toro. Any, any, uh, any brand? Uh, the Moon. Moon? Down to the Calgary. <laughs> yeah. What about you? Usually cocoa. Cocoa, eh? Cocoa's your go-to? Yeah. What's your flavor there? Flavor, uh, usually the brown sugar. Brown, oh, yeah. Brown sugar. Brown sugar. Yeah, brown yeah. Sugar. That's a good choice. Yeah. A good choice. Good choice. <laughs> good choice, you guys. Wow! I can't look at the lighting. So who came up with the lighting, you guys? Both of us. This Both is of nice. Us. Both of us. Yeah. I know you guys installed yourself too, right? That's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it wow. Done. So the lights, uh, we want to look like uh, the light is floating. So uh, the. The mounting solution actually is quite like, challenging for us because we yeah. need to drill up, like so many holes, like hundreds of holes. Yeah. And then we were on the sky uh, lift for whole like three days. Yeah. 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 Day. You and can see it. Drilling and then you know, make sure everything is straight. But the results is amazing. Lee, yeah, it's yeah. it's beautiful. Lee. You fan? How much you want for this? Not sure yet, right? It's for sale, but not officially yet, right? Well, you know, at the right price. At the right, yeah. I was going to say, everything has a price, right? Yeah. You hear it, you guys. If you want this clean specimen, nice S chassis, if you got the right money, it's yours. <laughs> How many of these are produced, you know? Yeah. Um, slick top um, with full arrow. Option B, which is uh, orange seats. Also super high cut, so yeah. we're steering. Like the yeah. like the GTR, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, I think they're like they're gonna go up quite a bit. Yeah. Once it's US legal. Yeah. But I'm not sure exactly how many of these. Yeah. Be. Sick. And whose is this? This is, my <laughs> this is yours. Right? This is my car. This is my little. Uh, Black hole. <laughs> this is the money pit, right? For you, Ailey? Right, <laughs> yeah. So this is your dedicated track car? or? Yeah, I built this car for track, and then uh, 
I really enjoy like you know the dr the whole driving experience. So yeah. this is uh, the the reason I you know modify this car because I want to drive on the track yeah. like, without worry about anything. Yeah. Basically. Apparently, this is the 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 ultimate s small short track car, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nimble and then it's yeah. lightweight. Um, it's relatively fast, yeah. but don't quote me on that, <laughs> <laughs> guys. <laughs> it's not fast. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. it's really fun. Yeah. yeah. Any other plans you have for this, or this is this uh, is the finish? So the whole modding process has been like uh, four years. Uh, it's almost done. So all all I left is a few, and then the entire wiring harness yeah. for the car. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, because I strip everything, and then actually I take apart this car three times. To three three times, eh? Completely. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in a bit, I will show you the underneath of this car. It's. Uh, Spotless. Oh, There's nice. no dust. Oh, the I'm excited for that, yeah. guys. I'm excited. So, uh, uh, yeah, all I left is a uh, fuel and then wiring and then the two. Okay. And then so, what was your original plan for this? Like, was it uh, going to be like a show track car looking, or actually not a tr like show car? Actually, it's, yeah. I I want to build my dream uh, Miata basically, and then, like I want to look good, but not highly modified outside. Yeah. It's like OEM plus. OEM plus, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. you want more of a sleeper look yeah. kind of a car. Yeah. You can't tell until... So, so when I was old, I still can't drive around without, you know, too, uh, too flashy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 You know, those uh, people modify the body kits, it's kind of a little bit too flashy yeah. for me, yeah. for my style. Okay. So, yeah, that's the whole point because I kept the, everything like a stock, but uh, I mean exterior was wise. Yeah. And then, uh, just wheel tires mainly is improving the driving experience. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. Main so is this what we're gonna get out of sub sixty second racing? Yeah. This is what you're gonna Basically. focusing on. Yes. This is what the customer is gonna get. Yes. The end product. Yeah. So if uh, you want to build your dream car, this is what you're gonna get from yeah. your guys' company. Both of us are really picky, and then we really want to focus on like some s small s details. Yeah. Yeah. It shows the detail right there, right? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go look at that car again, you guys. It's this. I'm excited to see that, but oh, I'm gonna show. You haven't seen it after the yeah. Swap. I'm gonna show you guys what this company is capable of and what you're gonna get out of this, and they're gonna help you obtain that dream, you guys. <laughs> Four times to get this, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so. I have the uh, Toyota ITB. Um, they just released it yes, uh, like last year, 2022. Uh, I had a 4AG ITB kit. Uh, I just bought like the day before they released this kit. Oh, nice. And I was like, oh, I have to get a Toyota because deep inside I'm still a little bit a Honda. You know, You're Honda, eh? Honda guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Toyota is you know, the power. <laughs> uh, so, I believe this is the uh, first North America uh, Toyota ITB kit. Okay. Yeah, uh, on this car. And it's not running yet, but I'll keep you guys updated with the power. Um, yeah. So, uh, so I refresh the engine. Uh, it's still 1.8, and then I will maybe get some testing and see how much I can get out of uh, this motor. And okay. And in the future, I also had a uh, 2.1 liter stroker engine okay. in Japan. It's okay. getting built. So uh, later on, I will have some comparison between two engines, yeah. two, uh, two different, uh, way different setup. And yeah. See which one is better for track. That's awesome. Yes. So I know they're gonna, what they're gonna, they're gonna wonder, they're gonna ask, what kind of money would it take to get it to this level? Like uh, if, if uh, someone wanted to build your build. Okay, to be honest with you, Miata is kind of cheap to mod. Oh, well that's, well, that's kind of good to hear. Yes. But, <laughs> It doesn't, cheap the thing is, it level, doesn't look cheap. It is. It doesn't look cheap, right? Yeah. Like, so, for now, I'm probably at 40,000, 50,000 mark. 40,000 is quite a, quite a bargain. <laughs> for, for a not, a, not including car, right? For a, yeah, not, including not including car. Car is actually relatively cheap. When I bought this car, it's 5,200. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now I'm like 10 times more than what I uh, pay for the car. But results is amazing, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'll and keep you, this one forever. Yeah, and you repainted everything, I'm assuming? Yes, uh, so exterior, uh, it's got repainted, shout out to RJ. And 
and then interior uh, engine bay is uh, repainted as well. Um, just fill some some holes, not like extreme. You will see <laughs> E5 RX7. It's it's really a nice one, but my engine bay is still relatively uh, you know OEM and not yeah. being modified, yeah. like heavily modified. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of power are we putting out? Uh, right now, I don't know. I haven't put on the that, that yet. But I am hoping 150 wheel with this setup. Yeah, what kind of weight? Do you... uh, so, actually I waited uh, two years ago. Uh, me and the car with the fuel, full tank, uh, it's 911 <laughs> Yeah, with me inside. So <laughs> you can push with one with one finger. Push the car. <laughs> yes, it's really light. And then, uh, but later on, I had some braces. Yeah. I had a roll bar, yeah. all that kind of stuff. So it's gonna get a little bit heavy, but not but, too too much. But it will improve your your time because of the rigidity and everything, mm -hmm. right? Oh, That's yeah. something you need, yeah, right? Yeah, I will just show you in a second. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay, Lily. What's the point of like? I know there's AT well, to have I, a box. The uh, ITV. Right, a lot of times just people run it without it and then have some filters here. Yeah. I noticed that yours has like a box, like a carbon fiber box, even though it's beautiful looking, yeah. but there's a purpose to it too, right? Yes, so uh, the main reason is uh, have the seal box. Uh, of course, you can attach to a filter, so uh, no dirt or no debris will go inside the engine, so engine will last really long time. Yeah. Uh, a second reason is uh, because engine bay is hot, so if you seal the box and then get fresh air, um, then you'll have less heat soaking. Um, yeah. Of course, you're gonna lose a little bit of uh, performance side, but yeah. you know everything have yeah. trade. Right? Yeah. So good and bad. I rather drive longer with this motor than you know, I have to you know, yeah. take care of everything. Yeah, it looks good too. So when you when good. you're on the track, no one's gonna look at it anyways until exactly. you have a box that you can take off and show off how beautiful this. ITB is right? right at the because, same time because too. Because our weather road is dirty. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so, it's so yeah. dusty. Holy shit! <laughs> you never, you, you never know. If this is a Canadian car. If, no way. <laughs> They'd be like, you are lying. So the car actually uh, is a Vancouver car because uh, when I. Strip everything I found to Vancouver Parquet ticket. <laughs> so I know it's from. Well, that's where it came from, man. Yes, yes. Uh, I think the gentleman, he moved it to Alberta. The reason why he sell this car actually is funny because he said uh, his leg got some issue and he just can't. Can't drive a manual? Can, can't drive a manual. Can, can't, you know, get those. <laughs> like, workout, you know? That's the whole reason he sell this car. So, yeah, I was uh, lucky to get this one because it's no rust. Well, I went home to a good owner, eh? Yeah. Wow. Look at this, you guys. Uh, so, uh, everything you see underneath, I basically uh, take it out. Um, the control arm, everything is new. Uh, new control arm. Uh, new bushings. Uh, there are polyurethane bushings. Yeah. Uh, the subframe front and the rear got refinished. Uh, they are minty. They're yeah. really glossy. Yes. Yes. You can tell. But this stands out the most, what, like, did you, is this custom or did you, what did, uh, this is a, uh, uh, meat rush. Meat rush. Yeah. I see that. Yeah. Actually, it's really good because uh, they have the cool and drain and the cool yeah. and drain whole cut They really designed it, they, they thought about it. Yeah. Uh, this one. I recently put on this one. I had it for three years, actually. <laughs> yeah, I never put it on because I never the finished and did the it, car. Right? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Uh, so the hole underneath got sandblasted. Yeah. Uh, that's why I said there's no single dust. Is it that um, dry ice blasting? Yes. Yes, it is, right? Supply. Yeah, yeah. I thought of doing that too. Look at that heat shield. Uh, it's actually original heat shield. And then they just like refinished it. They refinished it. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's so clean. Like every nut and bolt, you guys. Look at the subframe back here. And the suspension and the control arms. What next? What next? I don't know. This <laughs> pretty much is done. I couldn't think of any unless I changed to the tubeless control arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we'll see. I, I don't know how it drives <laughs> like, with all the big surgery, you know? 
I love the mirrors. What kind of mirrors are those? Uh, the mirror is uh, made by Korn. Uh, they are like a... Very retro looking, eh? Yeah. It's very, very little, retro. Yeah. They are... Uh, not many people know it because they are uh, based in Japan. Yeah, they, yeah. Like, Miata people actually in Japan is really small. Yeah. yeah. Very, very good taste, eh? Those are the... Are those factory too or no? The, yeah, the that's door factory handles? too. That's why I want to match the flow. Yeah, eh? The chrome because... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. You can this one. That's, yeah, yeah. yeah I can see. You have chrome at the back too. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I can see that. A lot of people hate chrome, but on this car, it just fits. It's a nice touch, right? Yeah. Just breaks everything up. Yeah. Wow, look at this. The brakes are worth more than the car. <laughs> 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 All right, now we're gonna get on to this one, you guys. This is very exciting. Did you fix your brakes? Yeah, I think did, I did. Did you, did you fix it? I fixed like 50%. Oh, he did, he did fix you guys. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> you fan, what did you do uh, since the last time we've seen this car? Uh, I think last time was about like two years ago. Almost. Yeah. Um, it was clean already. What, what else, car, what can you do to it? Exterior wise, it looks pretty much the same other than the brakes. But uh, interior-wise, well, interior is pretty much the same as the steering, but the, the car has a new engine. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Which is uh, it's a huge upgrade from the previous wow. one. Wow. Excited to see this one. This one stood out for me. I like this. This piece of, uh, it's not glass, is it? Lexan. Yeah. yeah it's a Lexan window. That's, but it's kind of high maintenance because you don't want to scratch it up, eh? It's hardcore, yeah. right? so it'll never get scratched. You never get scratched? Yeah, so it's kind of... That's what, the, that's what they all say, but you can always find a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they said, if you key it, you won't leave a mark. Yeah. Yeah. It. yeah. So far, it's been pretty good. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them. <laughs> 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 yeah. too, too risky to yeah. try. Yeah. 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 Can we, uh, can we yeah. see under the... Uh, under the hood? Yeah, and then we'll go into the... Wow, these are nice too, eh? Yes. Hard to get? Not really. No. It's just, uh, this color is a little bit harder to get because yeah. it's always sold out. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Shaved everything, eh? Everything's shaved. ITBs? Yes. Three rotor ITB. Three rotors. Big power? Yeah, not bad. <laughs> a lot more torquey, but it's not turbo anymore. Yeah, eh? it's oh, NA. naturally, it's NA now. Eh? Yeah, NA. What chose you? Uh, what? Why? What made you decide for NA? Um, I just want basically want a cleaner bay, um, and I wouldn't mind three rotor being NA because it has one more rotor with yeah, the power. Yeah. yeah. Um, mostly for some, like just to make it simple. Yeah. And um, yeah, just. Can you run ITBs with? Turbo? Technically, you can yeah. if you have a uh, sealed manifold. Oh, so you, like so a you, box, so you can like do it, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah. you can do it. You can yeah. do it, right? I've seen people done it. But would you? Is there any benefits of doing it with just for looks, right? For I, ITVs with turbo? Um, it actually, uh, actually more yeah. It's more, more, more air. Right? More air. More, yeah. Yeah. You you got a both for so turbo you have more um, air going in, yeah. and the ITV is basically you have. Right really quick response right? yes. yeah so, um, the reason why I was asking because I was doing a, a K series yeah but I love the ITVs yes but I didn't I want the turbo too turbo ITV is really <laughs> expensive it's like yeah. the most expensive setup you can imagine. but that's that's the reason why I was asking you guys because I don't know yeah. if he's able to or not yeah. but at least you guys confirmed it yeah that's pretty sick eh? wow Took it, how long did it take you to do this, you fan? Uh, this one, probably around like three months. Three months? Three months. Are you sure? Not three years? Three months. In three months, well, eh? Yeah, three months because the car was sitting there for quite a while after the shaving and the paint work. Then from start to finish, about like two and a half to three months. Yeah. Including yeah. dyno yeah. and everything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, again, if somebody wanted to do this complete setup like this, what would you project uh, price-wise besides the car? Just something like this, if somebody asked you. Well, beside the car, just the engine. Well, nothing else, like not including wheels. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. Just the engine. It's about fifty to sixty grand. 
Canadian, right? Canadian. Canadian. Yeah, yeah, Canadian. Cause... This is about like 35, 40 USD. That is... Not bad for what you get. Yeah, not bad at all. So Gerald and I have always wondered, how come you never put this into SEMA? Because this is like, this is, I've, I've, been, I've been to SEMA like 18 years in a row, you guys, and I've seen quality builds. And this is probably at least one of them, you guys. And Well, I think it's bad timing. <laughs> yeah. Because you found, I'm telling you, I think yeah. this, this would like turn a lot of, oh, a lot of yeah. I can't heads. Imagine. Yeah, a it lot would of be heads. nice to have an opportunity yeah. to be yeah. SEMA at some point. Yeah. yeah. I would honestly, I would love to see this in the uh, tread pass. You know the tread pass, yes. right, Lee? Yeah. This, this. Hey, Toyo. <laughs> I know. Toyo. Toyo. I'm telling you. Get us to the sea Send some pictures in. I guarantee you, this would be at least considered for sure. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a shame that this would not be. Yeah, that'd be very nice. Yeah, or even in, inside, not outside, because <laughs> outside builds don't look like this. Mm -hmm. They're. Don't get me wrong, you guys. Outside builds are like beautiful, but this is a, an indoor. This is inside the show for sure, you guys. Yeah. 50 grand, eh? That's actually not that bad. <laughs> no, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's, that's actually, it's quite alarming, you guys. 50 grand. So what inspired you to do this? Uh, I don't know. It's just like been looking at a lot of great examples from Japan. I've seen people done yeah. like engine shaving yeah. um, on RX-7 FC, yeah. the previous gen RX-7. Yeah, I, I like it a lot with yeah. like two older ITVs, of yeah. course. But I might as well try to yeah. do a shave bay for a, a FD chassis yeah. with three rotor. Yeah. Yeah. Because we don't see that, in, we don't see this in Edmonton or even. Yeah. Right? One of the reasons that people don't see this very often is uh, 20B, so three rotor engine itself is very hard to get. Yeah. Because uh, there's only limited amount of engines out there. It all comes from mostly. Um, the Mazda Cosmo. Yeah. So, yeah, and it's like the engine itself is very hard to get. Major majority of the time, when you open them up, they're all like destroyed or yeah. require lots of machining. Yeah. Um, so I think that's one of the main. And also, of course, because of the rarity, the yeah. price go up a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Tell him about this uh, series of the engine. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, like for 20 V3 rotor engines, they're different series. The earliest being series A, B, C, then the later being like D. So this is a D code engine. So it's like the actually the latest engine, which is like improved yeah. from the factory. Yeah. Which they improved like the, the, the casting method to make the housing stronger. Yeah. So it's like one of the hardest, you know. Like to find out there in the market. So meaning it's 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 more reliable or it just it, or you can just handle more more power. More reliable. More reliable. Also, yeah, um, the, the the housing itself can handle more power. Yeah. It's a whole package. Because you know it's re very reliable motor, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rotaries are very reliable. <laughs> but yeah, that's. That's that's new to me. I I didn't I didn't know that yeah, at all. Yeah, like, you know, I did not know that. I realized that when I you know, really started digging, people like you know, on the forum, people say, "Oh, decal is very hard to come by nowadays." Yeah. Which is like you can see here, it's a cone here. By that 20B logo. Oh it says yeah. D195. Right and then they all match it. Right here, D195. Yeah. Yeah, they're all the same. Hopefully, it focuses in you guys, and then over there, on all matching. So that's something new to me, you guys, see? One, two, three, four, five, no. <laughs> <laughs> How many rotors can you actually fit in? What's the most of the guys? People think, people try like six. Six, eh? Yeah, six. But is there a purpose for that or is it just, just power? Power it and just, the sound. Really? It sounds amazing. Yeah, but I've seen like four rotors. Four rotors? Yeah. Yeah. It sounds amazing. Yeah. 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 Beautiful. If you can see, there's still lots of space in the front, right here. You can put another two. <laughs> yeah, you, Lee, 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 you and I can fit in here. <laughs> <laughs> wow, eh? Look at the work, you guys. Thanks, you fan. Thank you. Thanks for sharing us your uh, your car. Thank you.
Anything else you did to, into the interior? It looks so brand new. You, uh, it was. Oh yeah. Basically, just um, we were finishing the interior trims. And yeah. Just the ARM. Yeah, because I noticed that it's the, like brand dash, new, eh? Yeah. We yeah. add that digital dash. Yeah. Wow. Takes a lot of time to put that in. Yeah, a lot yeah, of hours. Lots of a lot of hours, right? Donald yeah, yeah. Fit, Fitman, right? Oh yeah. 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 It's uh, it's not production piece. It's just like made by hand. Yeah. 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 Will it go into production if somebody asks for it? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> too much work. Yeah. Too much work. Yeah. yeah eh? too much work. Uh, oh, that's too bad, you guys. Just a one-off. Carbon cable seat. Yeah, I seen that last time. Yeah. 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 How much, Evan? How much you want for this? I don't know. People have offered like a hundred thousand US dollars. US dollars? Yeah, but it's going to be very hard. Hard to let go, right? Yeah. Sentimental yeah. value, right? Yes. <laughs> it's only to buy another car like December yeah. again. Yeah, it's, you can't replace it. The amount yeah. of time and effort that you already put yeah. into it, right? And I doubt I have like you know, hundreds, yeah. thousands of hours to so do yeah. another one like this. Yeah. There's no point. So this car is oh. uh, 25,000 kilometers. One owner, <laughs> Yada. Is this one going to turn into this one too, or? No. No? <laughs> no, won't let me touch this one. Yeah. So it, wow. it should be in a museum, to be honest. Wow, you guys. Look at the inside. <laughs> How did you guys find this one? Uh, I just found out on local market. Local market. Yeah, it's been on for two weeks, and then Another interesting story, so I asked the guy why he's selling it. He said his insurance went up. That's why he wants to sell it. I'm like, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> take it, eh? Yes. Wow. So lucky. That's a, that's a, that's a barn find right there, eh? Like, lucky. Yeah. yeah. You just... Everything is only up. Even, interestingly, uh, the tire is 1990. It's never been... Wow, it's like original tires. Original tire, yeah. Uh, back in the day, Yokohama did, uh, made this tire specifically uh, for this car. Yeah. Basically. The tires alone is going to be worth something. Yeah, yeah, right? and then no crack actually. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The first thing I noticed is no cracks. No cracks. Like is the tread still there? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the steering wheel, you guys. The seats feel brand new. It smells yeah. like a brand new car. Because when you look at the, an old car and the texture, it's just it's not there anymore. But this has the texture still. Like, yeah, it does smell. It smells brand new too. Yeah, everything is so minty <laughs> that I'm scared to uh, drive it to touch it. So it's amazing. This one just gonna sit here and then, uh, yeah. 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 Maybe when I am. Uh, Maybe one day, eh? Maybe when I'm uh, 60 years old and uh, I will start yeah. driving. <laughs> yeah. Lee, can we see under the hood? Yes. I'm assuming it's just going to be just as amazing as the uh, the outside and the inside of the body here. Cool. <laughs> Damn, it's like... It's not as crazy as the red car, but it's, this is... Uh, it's crazy clean. Yeah. It's Even the stickers are still there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the sticker is here. You know, nothing is like rusting or you know, like even these stickers. Not even there. have a dirt. <laughs> yeah. You don't see this in, in especially Alberta. You do not see this like this, and especially in this year. It's usually all rusted out. The roof is all like torn. Yeah. Like this is mint. It's probably even original oil, eh? <laughs> probably not. Probably, yeah, I, hope, I hope not, but yeah. yeah. Wow. Everything amazing. Like everything about the shop is amazing, you guys. Like from the floors to the lighting, every individual car that's in here has a story and it's just, just jaw dropping.
if you get a chance, you gotta see the shop, you guys. Visit it in, in, in person, your eyes will just, your eyes will just glow. <laughs> all right, you guys, it's that time. We gotta say goodbye to all these beautiful cars. I wish we could hang out here more often. Probably will. But today is, uh, we're gonna end off the vlog. It's gonna be a long one, I'm pretty sure. But anything else you guys wanna add, Lily? Uh, you fan? Thank you for stopping by. Yeah. And um, then, uh, if you're in Canada or even US, if you're looking for some wheels, uh, give, us, give us a shout. And then if we have in stock, we'll hook you up. Or if you're local, come oh, yeah. and stop by and stop have a look yeah. at these beautiful cars. Yes. Unless you wanted to look at these two guys. <laughs> <laughs> look at right. our cars. Right. Yeah. And you guys have a website already? Uh, we are on Instagram for now. The website is... Uh, it's coming soon, right? Yeah, coming okay. soon. So the easiest to get way to get a hold of you guys is... Instagram. Uh, link up here. Yeah, okay. We'll put a, yeah, we'll put the link up. Sure. All right. Good. Thanks again, you guys. Thank Congratulations you. on your beautiful shop. Thank you. And, uh, it's an honor to come hang out with you guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank you again, you guys. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Don't, for, don't forget, you guys, hit the like button yeah. and subscribe and follow, subscribe, these two. follow. <laughs> follow yeah. the channel. Yes. Sure. We'll see you guys next time. See ya. <laughs>